guys so we are actually here on to phase two of uh my trucking journey so i am now with my truck trainer uh we are currently sitting at one of our terminals here in nina uh we got to get some preventative maintenance and stuff done to the truck to make sure that like oil change is good coolant's up to level uh tires axles everything of that nature uh everything that to make sure that the truck is working properly and efficiently uh as of right now um I'm just getting myself acclimated finally got myself uh, up into my bunk so this is where I'm gonna be for like the next 19 to 25 days so let's hop on up here real quick show you what I all got going on so pretty easy stuff there's my bag got all my clothes in there here's my bed um, hard hat and my shower bag and then all of my amenities and foods brought her already loaded up you'll know what it is so i got some nice peanut butter some nice wheat bread try to keep myself going nice little snack town uh, some peanuts then i got rice tuna and oatmeal because it's cheap it works it's protein helps me get all the necessary food and stuff that i need within the day so there is all that there ain't much to the crib right now um considering obviously i'm sharing it with somebody so it's so warm out out here in wisconsin already like i don't know what's going on these last couple days but it's been so nice out i'm actually gonna go shower myself change into some nice warm or nice summer clothes and uh go from there What's up guys? So sorry that the videos are jumping all over the place. Um, I'm trying to get like as much training in without having to like be weary with my trainer about what I can and cannot record, what I am doing and what uh, when I have to really focus on the job. So when it's absolutely necessary, uh, I can be on my phone, if that makes sense. When you're doing this, you are not allowed to be on your phone basically at all especially when you're driving you are focused on the road you are focused on your load you are focused on every single variable to keep yourself safe at all times 
as well as keeping the road safe for others. So with that said, I am currently doing my 34 hour reset. Uh, my trainer is a regional trainer. So he drives Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan, Illinois, Iowa, and he probably doesn't go farther than that as far as I'm aware. He has taken some loads that are farther, but very rare cases for him to do something like that. Granted with everything that's been going on, this is then nothing short of amazing. This is a whole different lifestyle. This is a whole different opportunity. Um, and this is your new livelihood. Granted, you you get to see the country through a window, but it's still nonetheless absolutely amazing sceneries and um, just an all around different vibe, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I can't thank the guys enough. Uh, all of my trainers and all of my instructors from phase one that was able to give me the confidence uh, to do this. So thank you to all the guys out there. Phase two thus far, I couldn't ask for any other way. My trainer is absolutely amazing. He's so cool. Young guy, but he's so well trained and he has such an array of knowledge already. Uh, for being somebody who's actually younger than me, but he started this before obviously I did and he's been going at this and he knows a lot of tricks of the trade already and he knows a lot of uh, a lot of stuff so I think that's pretty cool so shout out to him um, currently I'm in Oak Creek right now we have a drop yard for rail transport right down the road from the pilot and the loves that is right up the like I'm staying at the pilot right now and then right across the street there's a loves so those are our main areas that we stay at whenever we can stay at a truck stop which is what rail wants you to do primarily if and when you can uh, last 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 resort is to stop at a rest area but they primarily do want you to either stay at the shipper if allowed or they want you to stay at one of the truck stops so that's where i'm at right now i'm not too far from home obviously like appleton to milwaukee is like an hour hour and a half drive but realizing that this is probably the closest i'll be home when i am solo it's kind of weird it's kind of hard to think about Granted, the times when I will be able to obviously go home for my full resets um, and they can route me properly and I'm not stuck at a truck stop. The one thing I've been talking to with every single person that uh, works for rail, they said that home time is one of rail's biggest strong suits. As long as you are updating your fleet manager and letting them know, I need to be home on this date and they will do everything in their power to make sure you can get home on that date very rare that you don't so my thoughts thus far uh during all of this i love it i absolutely love it i couldn't have asked to go with any other uh company to get my cdl through and to start training with i did have quite a layover i will say that before they could find me a trainer but we're not as big of a company as people think that we are so compared to like swift or schneider or tmc like they have thousands and thousands and thousands of drivers nationwide we have less than three thousand drivers i think total for an entire transport company so that just goes to show you whenever you see a rail truck driver we are very few so we're actually nowhere near in comparison to the size of all the other big uh transport companies out there so if you're looking to get into rail transport, definitely call somebody up, hit up a recruiter. They will do every means necessary to get you into a class to go ahead and get your GYCDL. If you already have one and you're looking for a place, rail's always, always hiring. So that's it for this video. I didn't know how else to create an outro, but uh, I figured I'd just update everybody on what the heck all the jumping around was. But more videos to come and hopefully you guys stick with me during this entire journey that's all i got for you guys right now um i'm just gonna rest up keep chilling and then we'll be right out of here on monday at 5 a.m so don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell for all of the updates that this channel has um i will see you guys later peace